Tot l'envia cap a la dreta per Xavi. Assistència de Xavi més cap a la dreta per Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. I menys Messi. Encara Messi, encara Messi. Encara Messi, encara Messi, encara Messi, encara Messi, encara Messi. We are here, we are live at the BMO Stadium for the biggest show in town. LA is bracing itself for the arrival of Lionel Messi for the very first time, and we're here to document it. I know a lot of you have been seeing the fanfare, seeing the hype around Messi. I'm gonna take you around and show you what to expect if you ever get lucky enough to get out here. So let's go, check it out. This is what you can expect when you come to a game in the MLS in America. Almost every game I've been to, you're gonna find people tailgating, setting up food, drinks, beer, and getting together before the game. It's really different to Europe though. It's a very friendly vibe that you'll see fans from both sides mingling, sharing a beer before the game. That escalated quickly. We've had a little walk around, it's absolutely incredible. If you ever get a chance to go to an MLS game or a sports event in America, they really know how to make a day of it, have a good time before. In Europe, my experience has been normally been diving into a pub or bar before the game. It's kind of separated here. They do a big fan zone, get everybody together and it makes it a really good atmosphere before the game. Still an hour and a half before kickoff and it's packed in here. People slamming down drinks, having a good time. So it could be a really good atmosphere by the time we get in there. So I was just chatting with a couple guys at a bar over there and they, they got tickets today and it ended up costing $800 a ticket. That's the sort of price these tickets are going for for when Messi comes to town. Absolutely incredible. The problem with that is it's pretty inaccessible for the average football fan. I got so, so lucky to get tickets today and that's thanks to So Rare. So Rare is sort of like a fantasy football game, sort of like a FIFA Ultimate Team on steroids and it's my biggest hobby. I play it all the time. And through that community, I got gifted tickets for the game today. And without that, I wouldn't have a single chance of being here. So big up so rare. Thanks again. So we're in, we've got about 20 minutes to kick off. The amount of messy jerseys here is absolutely staggering. Feels like every game this season is going to be a home game for Miami. LAFC have notoriously one of the best fan bases in the league. I've been here a few times, it's a great, great atmosphere. But everywhere I look, it's Miami messy. It's actually incredible the impact one man can have. We're going to do a walk around, maybe grab a bite to eat, one more beer, and then get to our seats. Let's go. So we took our seats and waited for Messi to lead the team out for the first ever time in LA. The LAFC fans were in full voice as the game was about to kick off. The team responded well and for the first 10 minutes they were definitely on the front foot. Wow. 
Miami started to get a foothold in this game and in the 15th minute, they took the lead in a devastating counter-attack. As you can see, it did not silence the home fans one bit. LA looked for an immediate reply. Dennis Buanga missed this big chance to square the tie. Look, it happens to the best of them and this is a prime example. John McCarthy coming up with a huge save to deny Lionel Messi. All right, one nil half time, really exciting half, a bag full of chances. LAFC actually had the better of the chances in all honesty, but Miami took the lead early. The atmosphere has been absolutely fantastic. Even a goal down, the LAFC fans have been rocking the house down the whole time. So, big shout out to them. It's an absolute dream to see Messi in the flesh. It's something I never thought I'd really be able to do. So, thanks again to So Rare for that. A lot of people ask why he's so special, and it's really hard to explain. When you compare him to someone like Ronaldo, you can see Ronaldo and you can see how he can get to that level. It takes discipline, work ethic, and physicality, everything to be unbelievable at what he does. With Messi, you just look at him and he does things you can't even imagine. You don't even see a path there. We're just lucky to be able to witness it. It's in that ethereal level that we just don't see very often. So what a pleasure to be here. And I couldn't be happier as a big football fan. So yeah, living the dream. LA start the second half, putting the pressure on. Pushing too many forward does come with risk, and Messi punishes them. Beautiful through ball to Jordi Alba, 2-0 Miami. By their fans, LA was showing a lot of fight to get back into the game. Before they knew it, Messi had orchestrated a devastating counter-attack. Put his side, 3 0 up. LA fought to the final whistle and pulled back a goal. It just wasn't their night. 3-1 to Inter Miami. Alright, so that's a wrap and it was an incredible game. As always, really exciting. A bunch of goals and really Messi was the differential. LA might have been the better of the teams but the Messi factor was real. Two beautiful assists and it changed the game, won the game. And what an emotional and special experience this is for not just me, like all the other fans here. It's, it's that thing, you know, you didn't think you'll ever get to do, see the idol, see a great at the sport. And we got to do that tonight. So I'm chuffed a bit, so I'm over the moon. It hasn't really sunk in yet, but yeah, like I said, thanks again for making it happen, everyone. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get to do, do something like this again in the future. So until the next one, See you later.